Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys video. Today, we are going to be checking out the third wave, I think that you could officially call this, of their Ben Cooper Halloween costume kids. But this time, it actually features some well-known characters as the masks and costumes. Kicking it off with the Gremlins movies, we have Gizmo, which... Hey, that's all kinds of cool. The box is going to be the usual style that we've seen with the last few waves. The side is like a rainbow color, costume and mask. And then you see a nice photo of the character on the back along with Stripe, who is also available. And yes, here is everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. I found mines at Target. Next up, because, well, it was already teased on the box, we do have Stripe from the Gremlins movies. And yes, that is equally as cool. It's going to be the same exact box, the same exact graphics, at least the art, as Gizmo. So that's cool. I like how they bookend each other. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. And like I said, mine came from Target. Now to go from a sleepy old town to now outer space, we have, and this is the one that I was really looking forward to, the Xenomorph from Alien. And I love the packaging. It's so retro, the color, that particular orange. The backside will show what's inside the box. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. Thank you very much for that. This is really awesome. And if you're hanging around the Nostromo and want to get out and check targets, here is the barcode if you need them. Now, the fourth figure of this wave hails from an animated series that is very near and dear. And of course, I'm talking about Beetlejuice, the animated series, and it looks Awesome. The box is very cool. I like the orange pumpkin. Nice photo of said figure on the back. It's showtime because of all these lovely people right here. And here's the barcode as well. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooky cup of coffee. We're taking a look at the brand new wave of the Ben Cooper Halloween costume kids featuring Stripe, Gizmo, Beetlejuice and the Xenomorph from NECA Toys. And well, I got all you trick-or-treaters here, so oh, come on, Clunk. I'm trying to do my introduction here. This here is Clunk. You might see her popping up in all my future October videos all throughout the month. This cat, I swear to God. Now the Xenomorph's down. Anyways, let's get to talking about some trick-or-treaters because here they are, all out of the packaging, and if you've already seen this line, you really know what you're getting into, but it's nice to see them tackling some of the different characters. It's not just vampire or skull or devil, we have Gizmo. And the mask itself is on a girl this time around. This is a very cool smock costume, which is all kinds of funny that back then they thought, yeah, the, the characters would just wear these costumes with their names on it, the names of the movies. You got it. The articulation is going to be the exact same as we've seen. You got some up and down, left and right. She comes with a trick-or-treat Happy Halloween bag. And the bag is a nice vinyl kind of card stock. It's best left kind of as is, as I would say. It creases very easily when you want to open it up. But these are more for a display. Take some funny photos. Be careful when you articulate the figure. I always say don't get the costume caught in the joints. You want to tear anything, rip anything. And I love that it says Gizmo right there on the sleeve. And like I said, the bookend to Gizmo is, of course, Stripe the Gremlin. The Gremlin has some great painted detail in the face. That is really well done. And you can see that the mask is in fact tied with a string around the back of the kid's head. For those of you not that know, the masks are not removable, but you can see their eyes through the mask. Stripe, Gremlins, fantastic old school artwork along with all that graphic print. He's got some red tennis shoes going on. You can unvelcro these if you want, but as I always say, don't be weird, that'd be weird. Trick or treat bag right there for him, all black with a pumpkin, and you get the usual articulation double jointed elbows, knees, you got the wrists, just very cool. As I always point out, go very easy, kind of learn the articulation. You don't want to stress the joints, especially the knees with the costume, the head, everything else, just really solid. But I got to tell you, the, the fave for mine, just because I'm a huge Alien fan and 
not really a Romulus fan, but hey, don't worry about it. This is the alien xenomorph, and I love the mask on this thing. It's creepy, and it looks old fashioned -y, and that's what really stands out. He even has some clear plastic towards the top that would simulate the Xenomorph's dome head. And I love the graphic right there on the T. That is something, if I was nine or 10 and they said, hey, draw the Xenomorph, bingo, you nailed it. And that is a compliment because I love the way that that looks, along with all the detail of the H.R. Giger wiring. The back of the costume is all solid black. He's got some black and white tennis shoes going on. And then he also has a trick-or-treat bag. It's white and orange with a black cat. Clunk will definitely like that. And like I said, the same usual articulation. The eyes look really creepy on this scene through the mask because it's the whole xenomorph thing going on. Again, I love it. This is, this is a lot of fun. This, if you picked any character to do these Halloween kids, you nailed it with this one. But as a secondary, but to be honest with you, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, the Xenomorph and Beetlejuice for me. Beetlejuice the Animated is amazing. I love that they went with the animated style. You've got the purple of the face, those rotten teeth that go every which way. You got some blue for the eyebrows, the blonde hair. Absolutely love it. They nailed that. And then, of course, if I can just move this Halloween bucket right here, you can clearly see the graphics of the animated series, all the various poignant parts of the show. Oftentimes, Beetlejuice would get scared and he'd be kind of freaking out. The worms would kind of symbolize that. You have more of a solemn face. And then you have him in his top hat, says Beetlejuice. I love that. All black on the back, blue tennis shoes this time around. But the real highlight here is if you don't know, if you've never seen the Beetlejuice animated, that is the skeleton Jacques' head. That is a nice little wink and a nod to have as a Halloween pale. In fact, to be honest with you, I really would have liked to have seen more of this with the other characters, especially the Xenomorph. That just adds a little bit of an extra element where I go, you know your stuff. I I'm liking what I'm seeing here. But yes, this Beetlejuice rocks. And again, with these characters, you can have a blast with the photography. You can have the Xenomorph. Halloween kid meeting an actual xenomorph. Maybe it's just a guy in a costume. Maybe we never see that kid again. Who knows, right? And then Beetlejuice, Lydia, and of course, Ginger, the tap dancing spider, giving their accolades for this kid in his animated Beetlejuice costume. Well done. I absolutely love that. And then, of course, continuing on with the photos, you can have a proud papa with his Beetlejuice costume for Halloween, taking his kiddos for a stroll to do they're trick-or-treating. Sky is the limit. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the newest wave of the Nekatoys Ben Cooper Halloween Kids toy line. And I got to say, this is a knockout wave. I love the characters from the movies that they've chosen. I think that that is very rad. The Halloween trick-or-treat bucket for Beetlejuice is a real standout. I love the artwork for the alien kid. And I can't wait to see where they take this line. I've heard some things, can't talk about it, but hey, if they pull it off, we're going to be in some good hands. This is this is going to get real interesting. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Ben Cooper. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, if there was ever a toy line that's perfect for the Halloween spooky season, look no further. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.